Hello, we're sorry that we can't have you here in our school to see our facilities, to meet our students and to meet our staff. But we're in this situation and we hope that you enjoy our virtual tour. We have a wonderful school and we have a warm welcome that awaits our students when they come to us in 2021. We can promise that you will get an excellent education in Loretto Community School. We have a vibrant and dedicated staff and we're a forward thinking and progressive school and we also have a strong pastoral care system. So we invite you to have a look around um, our virtual tour and if you have any questions or anything that you need clarification on, don't be afraid to email info at lorettomilford.net for more information. Stay safe in these uncertain times and we look forward to meeting some of you in 2021. Thank you. This is the main entrance to the school. This is where the buses will drop you off in the morning. This is the main door to our school. This is where you sanitize before entering. Hello, my name is Maureen. Uh, Debbie, Geraldine and myself work here in the main school office. Um, we are the first people that your parents will speak to when they contact the school. Uh, we work with our principal, deputy principals and the teaching staff to look after you when you are here in the school um, and we hope now that you enjoy the rest of your time in primary school and that uh, you are looking forward to coming to secondary school in September. Hello everybody, you're very welcome to Loretto. My name is Noel Scott and I'm one of the deputy principals here in Loretto. I'm going to be a big part of your daily life and I'm going to be one of the people that will help settle you onto Loretto. If you're looking for me, you'll find me at the bottom of the canteen on the right hand side. Welcome to Loretto Community School Milford. My name is Bella Mullen. I am one of the deputy principals and this is my office, which you will find to the left of reception as you come through the front door. Hello, my name is Joe McBride and I am the incoming first year year head. I am very much looking forward to welcoming each and every one of you to the school. I am sure you will find the school is the right fit for you. Uh, we have a great team here of staff and year heads and indeed class tutors uh, as a team that work under us and we are here to make sure that you settle in in your first few weeks and that you fulfil your potential spiritually, emotionally, socially and of course academically. meditation room it's probably one of the quietest rooms in the school it's open to all students all day long and we recently had our prayer service in there for the start of the year mass hi I'm mr. Lynch and I'm here in the meditation room uh, I'm the chaplain here in the school as you can see the room here it's a testament to our Christian ethos it's a room that's always available to students uh, morning uh, during the day and in the evening before they go home uh, for a quiet space if they wish our, the room here is uh, a connection with the past. The room here is a mixture of the old and the new. Uh, it combines uh, the new design of the, the room itself uh, and our connection with the past of the stained glass windows that you can see in the background. Part of my role also involves being on the care team. The care team comprises of myself, Miss Diver, Miss Donnelly, Miss Black and Miss McGettigan. Uh, and we work to try and support students here as they begin their journey in Loretto Milford. Uh, every child, every student has their own journey, whether it's the first from a house or the last. Um, and we hope to provide any encouragement we can as they uh, journey through the school. Uh, our care team is not and does not work alone. It also involves all the staff, uh, the vice principals and the principal. Uh, we like to think that there are many doors open to students here in the school if they wish to speak to someone. Here we have one of 
our science labs. We have three science labs in our school, and this is where you'll be doing your, your science subjects such as biology, chemistry and physics. So welcome to the art department. This is where the students take a break from the books and get to express themselves um, more in their work. Uh, we're really lucky in our school that we've got really good facilities for art. Room. This is where the students get in touch with their musical side and express their emotions through music. Uh, here are some examples of instruments that the students play, for example drums and guitars. Uh, we have a really good music department, especially when it comes to such things such as musicals. application in this strand, students will learn about the key stages of the engineering design process. First we designed a keyring by hand and then we did one on Tinkercad and 3D printed it. Process and principles in this strand students will learn about and employ the fundamental processes and principles of engineering. Mechatronics. In this strand students will use a combination of mechanical manufacturing, electronic and software engineering. This subject is known as Applied Technology. In Applied Technology, students engage in three main strands of learning. The first one being energy and control, where they learn about electronics and coding. The second one is principles and practices. This is cotton wood and fighting plastics and technology and society is the third one. One strand in technology is principles and practices and here in vacuum farming. Yeah, one strand in doing technology is technology and society and I'm doing modeling here. One strand we work on is energy and control. I'm doing it in soldering here. The second one is wood science and materials where students learn about trees and their environment and learn about the process from tree to timber. The third principle is arguably why a lot of students choose woodwork. It's principles and practices where they learn about practical skills, craft and jointing. <laughs> this here is my product when we get out there. This is wood turn and turn this piece of wood between scepter. This here is relief caravan and I'm using the guides to do it. This is paragraph right now, I'm doing the air jordan one. Je prends un peu la France. 
say Parsika Jyotor Lekotir. Ola Atodos. Me amo Rasha. Y me amo Liana. Somos estudiantes de español aquí en la Rado Community School. We're here to give you a few good reasons why you should choose Spanish. Numero uno. It's easy to learn. The spelling and pronunciation is straightforward and it's very similar to English words, for example. La musica equals music, el football, football, el restaurante, restaurant. From first to third year, you learn vocabulary and phrases to help you talk about la familia, your family, mi casa, your house, mi colegio, y mi barrio, your school and your area. Spanish is spoken all over the world and is the second most spoken after Chinese and English is the third. Spanish is a language steeped with culture, with many famous Netflix series, shows, dances, and most importantly, the fiestas and the food. It is also great to have Spanish to be able to speak to Spanish students or others here on holiday. So come join us in the Spanish department in Loretto Community School. Hasta pronto, amigos y amigas. Welcome to the Home Economics Sewing Room. And uh, here students complete their junior cycle and uh, test and projects. Um, here's examples of students' uh, projects last year. And uh, Jess is going to tell you a little bit about her project. Hello, I'm Jessica Grace Call and I have recently completed my text ed project. This project consists of clothing from the home from all my family members and I love this project because I got to show off my creative side. This is the Home Economics Kitchen Room. Here students cook up some lovely meals. Here students complete their home ec practical for junior cert which is 50% overall. Business studies deals with current realities of a fast changing business environment. What I enjoy most about business studies is that it deals with real life aspects such as banking and budgeting, which I will use in the future. Hey, I'm Shana James. We're classroom aides here at Loretta Convent. We work with a variety of students throughout the school. We help students in many different ways, um, particularly with organisational skills, with their social and emotional skills, and we help students to do their classwork and help with projects, etc. Uh, we have a social club here at lunchtime where we play board games and the children can chit chat and a protected environment. So we're looking forward to meeting you all in September and if you ever need any help with anything, you know you can find us guys in room 403. the canteen. This is where the students come to eat their lunch every day. The food is really nice and is reasonably priced. of our outdoor space on 14 acres of ground with three pitches, tennis courts, outdoor activity centre and more recently our contemporary features including an outdoor classroom, polytunnel and sensory garden. We are currently working on our wellbeing garden. Great 
to because there's a lot of opportunities to play sport. There are a wide variety of subjects to choose from. There's a great atmosphere. The canteen fits in there. Everyone's really friendly, so you never know. The teachers are very welcoming. There's a lot of support available. There's lots of extra curriculum. It's a great place to make new friends. We have a musical every second year. It's a great environment to that.